Hey guys, we're back again on the Homestead, and this is another Homestead box from thehomesteadbox.com. Uh, they sent us another one. We did a video before on the first box they sent us, and uh, I guess they liked that video. They wanted us to send us another one to review. And, you know, here's the deal, folks. Uh, you know, I get offers all the time from companies who want to send me stuff to review or for me to do a video on, and that's a very dangerous thing to do. You have to understand that when someone sends me a box, I'm going to give you an honest review or a product. I'm going to give you an honest review on what I see in the box or what I see in the product. If you don't believe me, go ahead and check out the Survival Hacks uh, survival shovel video we did. I'll put a link up at the top of the screen. Uh, I basically destroyed that shovel and I told people that it was garbage. And the company who sent that to me really was hoping that I was going to give them just an unboxing because there are a, a number of other videos on YouTube where people just unboxed it and said, oh yeah, this is a great shovel. But they never actually used it to see you know, how it was made. These things I'm going to be going through, and I'm going to be using these things, and if it comes out that it's garbage, I'm going to tell you so. Uh, so companies that send me their products take a, a risk, a little bit of a risk, because I may tell you that what they send me is garbage. Let me be honest and totally honest and just tell you that I think so far what we've seen from the homesteadbox.com has been really cool thing. I mean, they're, they look like very, uh, you know, quality products. Um, and for someone who is getting started in gardening or, may, you know, may, maybe wants to branch out and learning some new skills, the type of skills that a homesteader would use, so far I think what they're sending, what they're putting together, included with the instructions, uh, is, is really good. I have no complaints so far. And if, trust me, if I saw something in here and I've already peeked in the box a little bit, I would, I would tell you, you know, and I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, so just with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take apart the box. First thing I saw was this right here. It's called the Homestead or homesteadiron.com. And it's some hand forged tools, which is really cool because I've always been interested in blacksmithing. And uh, <clears throat> it looks like the homesteadiron.com is a, is a blacksmith and he makes uh, garden tools amongst other things. And they include a business card there. Obviously, it's a promotion for them because they included one of their products in the box. And so um, there's the information that's right there on top. And that made me look for this. And it says right there the homestead, it's, or it's homestead iron on the handle emblazoned on the handle and it's a custom made handmade you know sh you know garden shovel you know hand shovel hand trowel pretty cool you know someone actually forged that by hand that's really neat and it looks like it's good quality i mean there's i mean this thing is stout really heavy duty thick metal thick iron and it's stout so uh i like that a lot and, and i like the i like it even more that it's handmade pretty cool uh, let's see. It comes with a book, Starting Seeds. It's always good to have information at your hands. We love books. Books are cool, especially when they include great information like this and different ideas on how to start seeds. Um, and so we have our own ideas, but I'll look through that and, and maybe I'll learn something new. Um, but that's a, that's a pretty cool, especially folks, for people who are just getting started, you know, it's great to include information like this. So, uh, you know, good thumbs up on that. Obviously, here's the brochure they include with every box. It includes some information and some instructions on the back on, on starting some of your seeds. And so that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, the Baker Creek, they include a Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Catalog, which is a cool catalog filled with amazing pictures. I mean, yeah, you can get these for free. You can go online and have them send you one of these, I think. Or maybe it cost a couple bucks. I'm not sure. But you can get these, but they include that in there because maybe someone who orders the box has never heard of Baker Creek uh, and their catalog itself, the Baker Creek catalog, it's one of the things I like about certain catalogs from different companies because there are certain companies out there that go above and beyond in their catalog to not only provide information about the products, but also educate you as well on, you know, different things about gardening and different things about seed care and growing and garden care. I mean, not only is this a, a catalog, a product catalog, but it's also an educational book that you can learn things from. So I really like the way Baker Creek puts their catalog together. It provides information along as, along as well as information about products. So that's included. Um, Let's see, you got some Haas garden tools, uh, stakes that you can lab labeling stakes for your garden. That's included there, pretty cool. Um, 
this is something we're going to be able to put to use. And it's like a garden, um, a water hose. Uh, I forget, what do, you, what do you call that? What's it say here? It's called a sprayer. Touch flow. Uh, that's what it says, touch flow. And it's like a garden sprayer. Um, and some of you will be like, well, Zach, you don't have water there. How are you going to use this with your garden? Well, we do have water pressure because all of our water pressure, our, our water tanks, our water storage tanks are elevated, and that gives really good pressure for us in the garden. If you remember a, a number of videos back, and I'll post links in the description below and, and above, is we put in installed water tanks across from the garden and put in lines underground to our garden to allow that water to flow from the outhouse over to the garden and give us a good amount of water pressure. And this will work, and it includes a, different, a couple different nozzles. Uh, this one will definitely work for us here. This one is more of a pressure nozzle. I don't, I'm not sure that will work for us, but it may work for someone else who has water um, yeah, from the municipal uh, government around them. But this will definitely work with our setup, this nozzle here. So that's included. We'll be able to use that. And right now, all I've been using up until now is just a hose, which uh, I think this will work a lot better for watering. So pretty cool on that. Includes some, it looks like core, uh, coconut core, natural byproduct of, co of the coconut industry for seed starting. Um, these are big right now. A lot of people are using these to start their seeds. You just cut it out uh, when you're ready to plant and then plant the whole thing in the ground. So... Um, you know, people are, that's really popular right now People for people to use. And then they also include some Baker Creek seeds uh, right there. You have the Roma tomato, pepper, poblano. That's going to get planted. Uh, eggplant, I'm not really big on eggplant, so I'll pass on that. Uh, bullnose sweet pepper. Uh, Jamie, do you like bullnose sweet peppers? I don't know what a bullnose sweet pepper is. So uh, uh, she's behind me. You probably can't hear. Um, we'll, maybe we'll plant that. Um, eggplant, no thanks. Not a big eggplant fan. Uh, tomato, yellow pear, tomato, eh, I'll pass. Um, the tomato pink brandy wine. I think we've grown those before. They don't grow so well here. We had lots of problems. Um, well, when it comes to tomatoes, what really grows here well is the Arkansas Traveler. Uh, it's great for heat tolerance and drought tolerance. It grows well. We've never had a problem growing the Arkansas Traveler, so we're going to grow mostly those. But the Roma tomatoes, um, let's see, where'd that go? Oh, yeah, right here. The Roma tomatoes do grow well here, and so we may try to grow some of those here as well. But the Brandywine, I think I'll pass on that. Um, so <clears throat> out of the seeds they sent us, you know, I think I'll take those three. Those three, we'll, we'll, I love poblanos. I love eating poblanos even raw. Uh, it's a perfect amount of heat just to eat raw out of the garden uh, if you can stand that kind of heat, but uh, definitely a lot milder than the jalapeno. But we're going to grow those, and um, maybe I'll pass those on to my neighbors, or maybe I'll include those into uh, Go for Green Living's seed carousel box. I'll just throw them in there. Maybe somebody will use them. Um, Anyway, what else? We've got this Foothills Organics Potting Soil Mix. Um, pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll use this to start uh, the seedlings this year. It's really nice to have that, but it gets you started. And then on the bottom, something we won't be able to use for sure is a heating pad. A lot of people recommend using these heating pads uh, for pepper plants or tomatoes, <clears throat> excuse me, things like that. Here's the box that it came with, uh, Planter's Pride, uh, what's it called, uh, uh, heat accelerator mat. There you go, heat accelerator mat. We don't need this. We don't have electricity. And I mean, we have solar power, but this generates heat, which will take way more electricity than we can provide it. Um, we don't use this stuff. Folks, uh, I've done videos in the past, and I will do a video again on the perfect way we grow our pepper plants, get our pepper seeds started by using just simple household items, um, really easy way. But if you do have electricity, this might be a great pad for you to start your pepper plants in. Pepper plants need heat to germinate, and so this is, might be a great way for you. Some people put them on top of their refrigerators. There's all kinds of methods of starting pepper seeds and tomato seeds. Um, this might be an option for you, but it's not for us. So maybe I'll give that away to um, one of our patrons and maybe they can use it. <clears throat> so anyway, 
overall, this is a pretty good box. And for someone getting started with all the things they include here, um, the, the different tools that are included, um, it's, it's really neat. I mean, there, there's some good things here to help someone get started gardening and to give them the knowledge they need with, you know, with the included catalogs and the included book on seed starting. There's a lot of good stuff here to get someone started. And, and you know, someone made the point the last time I opened up the homestead box and they said, Zach, you could go out and buy all of those things individually and it would save you money based on what the homestead box is giving you. You know, the price they're giving you, the price point that they are selling their products. And that might be true. The issue is you have to go out and do it all. You know, for someone getting started, hey, let's just be honest, most people who are getting started aren't going to know where to go out and look for all these things um, and find some of these things individually and buy them all because you're getting started. You don't know what you don't know. So what the Homestead Box has done here is they've gone out and done it all for you and made it in a simple box, ready to go with simple instructions, and boom, you're off to the races. You know, so... So I, I get the idea, yeah, you might be able to find all these cheaper things cheaper individually if you went out and did that. But for somebody new, for somebody who's never done it before, who just wants to get their feet wet, you know, to grow that first tomato or that first pepper and call it their own and, and feel the satisfaction of biting into something that they grew all on their own, this is a great starter. And so far from the homesteadbox.com, that's what I've seen. I've seen that ability for someone new to get started, to learn a new skill, or to forge out into something, a new, a new unknown. I think the Homestead Box is doing a great job. So anyway, there it all is. Um, look, I'm going to be using some of this stuff, and uh, maybe we'll do some more videos on some of the things as we go along. But I think uh, a good so, so far a good thumbs up on the homesteadbox.com. Check it out by going to the website. I'll include the link in the description below and, and you, to where you can sign up and get uh, their future boxes that are coming out uh, soon and have them delivered to you. Hey guys, if you like this video, please check out this list of amazing folks right here. These are our patrons. They are the executive producers of our show. We could not do any of these videos without them. Um, if you're more interested for more information, go to patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron. So until then, like, subscribe, share us on Facebook, and check out these videos on the left, and we'll see you next time on An American Homestead.